going on in the your boy Kyle Bunga here. So I wanted to do a life update video somewhat. <laughs> so a lot of things have happened since I moved out here to South Carolina. So I wanted to touch base on some of that since I moved out here. Cause I moved out here back in March. So first things first, I got into the car. Not a brand new one, but a new car for me. I got to use 2023 uh, Tesla Model 3. So now I am a Tesla owner, just like so many other people out here apparently. Uh, I remember the first day I bought a Tesla, the day I got it, and I saw so many more Teslas on the road that day in the, in the following weeks. I've even seen a lot of Cybertrucks too, although I do think it's the same guy. Cause I've seen four, I've seen the Cybertruck, you know, about four times, but I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. <laughs> pretty sure it's the same guy. Although I did see another one recently, uh, I think earlier this week, and that one was painted red, which I'd never seen before, but that was different. Um, so that happened, got a new car. I charged the car at home, it's great. I haven't had to pay for fuel in a few weeks since I got it uh, installed in the house. So I just charged up. I didn't get the big one. I got the, the small one, the little mobile charger that you can buy for like 200 bucks. And then I had an outlet installed for it. That was another almost $600. But yeah, I got that, got that done, taken care of, whatnot. The ride's great. I don't really have to pay for fuel unless I go on businesses. Like the furthest I've gone so far is to Columbia, Columbia, South Carolina, which is like 100 miles from here. That's the first I've gone recently. Second, secondary thing that happened uh, within the past month, I found out that I'm being laid off. I found out I was being laid off about a week before the of July. Today is July 18th, so it's been a couple weeks. I actually found out three weeks ago to today. It's not ideal. Definitely hurts for sure. Uh, it's really, it was really unexpected. It was really unexpected. I did not see it coming. Now, granted, <laughs> now, granted, I did kind of ask for it, sort of, and like I drew back entire, sort of, you know, I prayed for this and it happened type thing. I prayed for this and it happened. I kind of did ask for it because, you know, I've never really liked my job per se. I'm not going to say where I work or what I do, you know, but I never really got into it. It, it, it just, it didn't challenge me um, mentally. It didn't stimulate me. It was kind of the same thing over and over and over, day after day after day, week after week, month after month, after year. And I've been here for next month, we'll make four years. Barely. <laughs> I say barely because uh, they gave me 60 days to find a new role in the company or hit that, hit that there on the point. So uh, we're in the cusp, in the middle of that 60 days. I think I have another, I think like 45 or so. This has been a couple weeks now. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. I have applied for the roles uh, internally and externally, outside. Uh, same things as what I do now, something a little different. I hope to find something, some way to stay in the company, um, even if it is the same role, like I'll keep doing it. I'm just not a big fan of it. The hard part is that I, I struggle with finding another role that will pay me the same as what I get now. Which I'm not going to say on here either, but it's it's hard to find a role that's going to pay uh, just as well. That's a, that's always been a difficulty thing for me, always. Even when I was ready to move to do something else, it was always, it was always tough. It was always, it was not easy. It was certainly not easy at all. So, laid off, right? How did we get here? It was a business thing. It was a business decision by company I work for, uh, 
viral, it was just very easy to cut. So they did it. Uh, they did it. You know, it wasn't performance based as I was told. Um, nothing like that. Uh, it, just unlucky. It, just unlucky. Um, in the letter I got, they listed like for, like two other places. So it wasn't just me personally. It was a lot of people in different areas like that were losing uh, losing their jobs uh, in California. So it wasn't just me. It wasn't a personal thing. It happens. It can happen to anybody. And uh, layoffs have been happening all over the country, um, everywhere in all industries. So it's not it's not a total uh, surprise to me at all. Does this thing? Yeah. Is it a little embarrassing? Ah, right, definitely. Because I mean, you never want to lose your job. Like ah, you know, that I can do. I did everything right. I still lost my job. That's nobody wants to hear that. But. So, going forward, my hope is that I can find, you know, another role. That's my hope. Will I? That remains to be seen. Because the job market is very, very tough. As I'm sure you've seen a lot of the, the videos on, on, you know, on here, you know, Instagram Reels, TikTok, Facebook, all that. You know, people, oh, I got, a, I got you know, two degrees, a PhD. PhD, a master's, this, that, and the other, and I'm working like Starbucks. Like, I've, I've heard all those stories, I've seen all of the videos, I've seen, not all, but like, I've seen, I've seen a lot of them, and that's scary. I don't know what happens next, per se. Like, in life in general, I don't know what happens next. I, I do know that in the event I don't find another job, I am covered, you know, my job is jobs that does offer uh, severance pay so I know that I'm not just gonna be out here with nothing like I'm gonna have something I'm gonna have my vacation hours you know I barely take vacation as it is I barely ever take vacation so um, once they roll that up and you know cash that out I might I'm have a little piece of pocket change I'm have a little piece so that's decent at best but outside of that you know, severance and Side of that, I don't really know what happens next. I do use my new test that I mentioned earlier. I do use that, and uh, I do Uber. I I do Uber every day, every day except Sunday. Although even in those days, even on Sunday, sometimes I still go out and do it. It is exhausting. I'm not gonna lie, because you know I get up at like I get up at four in the morning, and then I do it until about you know nine o'clock. It used to be until, it used to be, I used to do it from like 4 to 11, but then my boss found out, <laughs> my boss found out that I moved out here, and I, and I didn't tell him, and he was the fan. <laughs> he was not, he was, he was hot, not, not hot, like he was angry, but he was just like, this, he was just like, oh, why didn't you say something, why didn't you say something? I don't really have to, I don't really have to say anything, but, stop at like 8 here, and start, but, he ain't even online until like, you know, 9 a.m. EST time because he's in the central. So I just, I just kind of whatever about it, you know. I'll clock out like 8.30 or something, 8.45, you know. Because <laughs> it's, it's remote. It's remote and my whole team is based in the West. So it's like, I'm online by myself not really doing anything. But I still make some decent money here and there. But, you know, that's kind of my backfill, sort of, if that makes any sense. Because, you know, I am. We are counting down the days until my last date, uh, which is in the end of August. I'm a, I'm a little nervous, a little petrified of evening, if you will. <laughs> but um, you know, I know, I know, uh, I'm a firm believer in, uh, in God. I'm a firm believer in um, Jesus Christ. And whatnot, and, uh, I do believe that I will be taken care of, you know, one way or another. I believe something is in the woodworks for me. I've had many friends and coworkers tell me this is this is a wake up call to go do something else, to go do something you want to do. Uh, although what I want to do doesn't really pay that well. <laughs> I'd love to work on like social media because you know, I'm passionate about that and whatnot. But that's not a guaranteed thing. I'm also passionate about this. The only reason I don't have more videos on this or my gaming channel is because I don't have time. Because I do this, I do I do job behind me, and then I do Uber. I don't have time. I, I, 
tired because you know you're working two jobs. So I don't know. Maybe if I don't find another job, then I can dedicate more time to this. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's wise to not get a job at all and then just only do this. It's probably not. But um, I'm gonna figure something out. I always do. I don't blame myself at all. Like, even if I was like, even if I did have my days where I would be like, you know, MJF. Like, oh, fire me, fire me. I want you to fire me. You know, those just, that's more, those were out of frustration type days because there were definitely days where I was very frustrated with my job, uh, my line of work. But uh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean shit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, nobody, because nobody wants to lose their job, not unless they get, not unless they get something, uh, something better or they blow up off of whatever they're doing. Like me, for example, like, Let's say I blew up on YouTube. Okay, fine. You know, now I got something that's concrete. You know, I found success with it. Okay, this job is whatever. But I'm not there yet, unfortunately. So, but if y'all like and subscribe to this video, I will be. To this video on this channel, I will be. Um, so, speaking of this channel, I know in my omelet video, I was kind of quick. I was in a rush. It was late. I was tired because I already worked out at the gym that day. Uh, <laughs> but, but, um, going forward, I do want to, uh, make more videos like this, uh, and some other ones, uh, some, some videos around the house, maybe do some skits with just myself, I don't even know what that looks like yet, because I've never done that kind of thing before, but, um, I'm excited to, to make more videos, I'm excited I got this tripod, this mic, I'm still figuring stuff out, um, I definitely do plan on vlog vlogging my DreamCon experience again for the third straight year in a row because I always vlog DreamCon. I vlog WrestleMania too, but for some reason, WrestleMania, there's a lot of footage to go through, so I, I, I just get lazy and I never do it. Because I'm sitting on like, I'm literally sitting on like three years worth of WrestleMania footage. <laughs> from the one, from the one in, uh, in Dallas, the one in LA, and the one that was in Philly this year. Maybe I'll get around to doing that too. Maybe. I don't know. But. Uh, with that being said, that's all I really got for this one. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to do a, a kind of a sort of life update video because I know it's been a while since I just kind of sat here and just talked to my very small community. Um, I do need to work on growing this community because I've been doing too much. Uh, but yes, so last thing, I know I said I already know I said it, but the last thing is I do want to switch gears more. Videos. Like, I love gaming, don't get me wrong, but gaming is just, you know, it is always games coming out, and I just don't have the time right now to just focus on all that. I don't know, maybe I'll do like Twitch on the side as well now that I'm about to be able to jump. But, that being said, uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.